Hey fragrance junkies, this is Caleb's perfume and Nancy J. Lewis. And uh welcome to our perfume addiction. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me insert a funny clip of why I can't remember my intro. <laughs> I'm going to take a, te a tequila shot of, um, what kind of tequila? Whatever tequila, tequila. has been in your cabinet. Yeah, for I have no idea. It's been very there long for time. Years. Don't forget the, the, uh, salt. Do you do the salt first? Yeah, put the salt on your tongue. This and is then for you, Margie. Put, <laughs> put the salt on your tongue, then take the shot. And then put salt on your tongue again. Brave girl. Now watch her fall over. Poop. <laughs> when I was your age, well, younger than you. <laughs> I didn't even taste it. All I tasted I had was salt. <laughs> ten shots. Like this? All in a row, yes. Okay, I did taste it. Oh, and, and the lemon, yes. You have to have the lemon, too. Well, I didn't taste anything. All I tasted was salt. You didn't taste the, the hooch? Are you sure you didn't put water in it? <laughs> oh. I could feel it. I didn't taste it. Yeah. I could, like... Well, you know, you when know, you feel it go down, um, it's very warm. Tequila, tequila doesn't have fly. All right, that's me taking a um, uh, shot of uh, silver funky um, Joan Jose Cuevo, Cuevo, Jose Cuevo. In other words, tequila. I usually um, I'm not a drinker. As it's been a long time, been a long no. time. Either are you, really, just once in a while. That's why I didn't even know the name of it. <laughs> I, I had bottles in there that are 20 years, been there for 20 years. Mm. Yeah, long time. All right, bye. Bye, kids. Jingle all the way. Ho, ho, ho. Pretty funny faces at myself. Okay, I have tequila here. I'm going to take a shot. And then today, what do we have? We have videos on Jingle Bear. No, we don't have videos on Jingle Bear, but Jingle Bear, Jingle Bear is in the background. Yeah, he's here to join our videos. Yeah. Today we have a video on holiday favorites, and in our holiday favorites, mostly spicy fragrances. Well, my holiday favorites. You're just here to accompany me through the winter journey of holiday favorites. Yes. And we have a lot of spicy ones to go through, a lot of deep, dark, warm vanillas. Um, but I kind of mostly picked spicy because this is the season. After Thanksgiving comes Christmas. So, in between, you're going to want to spice it up. Stay warm. It's December. Put on your scarf. Yes. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Video for you about spicy fragrances with our friend, Jingle Bear. Yes, Jingle Bear. He says it is party time. Yeah, yes. There's not much left, but I'm going to take a shot right now. And I haven't drank it in years. And Nancy is a master drink maker, and she made creme de meth peppermint. <laughs> Pepper creme de meth Pepper peppermint. Peppermint vodka. <laughs> peppermint sch schnapps. And just to top it off with a little bit of cream de menthe. Let me go get it. Cream I'll show menthe. you how pretty it is. See how pretty that is? Look at that blue It's like color. a winter wonderland. And when it you is. taste it, it just like <sighs> smacks you in the face like a blizzard. Cold air. You know what it's like? It's, it's like being out in the snow and opening your mouth. And having that snow just float onto your tongue. Ooh. That's a winter wonderland drink. Winter wonderland. Yes. It's, to it's December. A winter. And 
family gathering time. Unless you don't have a family, then it's time to stuff your face with whatever desserts you can find. <laughs> That's we gotta most everybody, everybody has a family. <laughs> we gotta include everybody. There's people right. out there that don't that are loners. Yeah, keep to yeah. themselves. Yeah, like Jingle Bear over there. Yeah, he's he usually hides in the closet. I stole him out of there. 11 months out of the year. <laughs> oh no, I stole Mr. Bear over there out of your closet. Oh, you stole, you stole Mr. Bear out of my closet? Yeah. This is Mr. Bear. This is from Black Bear Restaurant. Oh yeah, I recognized it. Yeah, yeah. I like their uh, Black Bear, their Bear Cobbler. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Yeah. We don't have any down where we live, but uh, where I come from, we had one. Black Bear. Cobbler. Restaurant. Cobbler. Good stuff. We have black bears down here. The real thing, but not... Yeah. Anyway. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start. And we're going to start with... Fragrances. Which fragrance? Let's start Meeny, it meeny, miny, mo. Caramel Delight, which is Ooh. a clone of Lyra from Zhirjoff. And this smells like caramel drizzled onto a lemon cookie. Mm. You have to like lemon. So that's why it's not my favorite scent ever because lemon isn't my favorite. Well, but, I, like, I like that. But it's very nice. I like that. It's really good. Really, really good. Perfect for this time of the year. But what? Who? Who makes that? Caramel delight. Dua. Dua. Oh, dua. Dua. Let's mix it up and throw in a dossier. We got Oriental Tobacco from Dossier, which is a cologne of Tom Ford Tobacco Vinny, which is a tobacco vanilla clove, spicy, warm, sweet. You're gonna smell like that for days. <laughs> that's definitely no. That's good. That's a winter fragrance for me. I love it. Yeah. And what is it called again? Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. With the no. cologne version is Oriental, Oriental tobacco. tobacco. Yeah. Now this oh, is like Fructus Virginius. What? <laughs> Fructus Virginius. I don't know why I threw it in. Alexandria, it says. <laughs> yeah, don't get this version, but get the dossier version of it, of Tom Ford, Lost Cherry, which smells like a cherry by the um, fireplace. No, a cherry on top of a root beer float. Ooh. Kind of like that, but it's perfect for winter. Great for the holidays. Okay, so you want to be up in the holiday spirit, gathered up in the holidays. Opium is great for winter, being warm. You spray it behind your neck, just envelops around you. It is strong, smoky, ambery, spicy, thick. So many things that I could say about opium. She is, uh queen mm -hmm. she's a queen she's a boss and i know you regret spraying that on you nancy i am not dumb i know you regret spraying that i can see it's a it little is. green <laughs> it's this, a little green maybe when it dries down no uh this is the strongest fragrance i've ever smelled okay <laughs> well maybe not the strongest let me show you the strongest Look at her liquid there. She's very dark liquid, almost oh. black, but a very dark caramelized brown color. Anyways, this and, is Youth Do by Estee Lauder. And she uses it. Look, that's half empty. Yeah, I use it. I like spicy. Now, this was my grandma's signature scent, so it is sentimental and very important to me. But in the winter, around the holidays, you spray this on you, you wait a while, and, oh, sorry, and you smell like the most beautiful, spicy, powdery, gorgeous, vintage, retro goddess. Is the jig up? Do they know about my scarf? No, they don't. The jig is not. It is a fantastic scarf. I sprayed it on my clothes. Oh, uh, yes. And I like it. You do? Yeah, smell it. Smell it. 
It, it has a soapy undertone, and you tend to like yeah. soapy. I yeah. got it. So you grab it. All Good. right, this is one of my new babies, but I, as you can Ooh. see, have been using her a lot. This is Eternity Flame. Don't get the original Eternity. Don't recommend that. It smells like bug spray, and it belongs in the garbage. This smells so good. Oh, I just put it up to my... See, I shouldn't have taken that shot. I put it up to my face. Okay, and then I just patted. You're not supposed to pat. You're supposed to spray and spray. Okay, so it gives you this super sweet Baccarat over the top of something um, kind of cotton candy warm, but there's a super cinnamon spice that surrounds everything that's overloaded on everything. All of the scents is overloaded with cinnamon. Yes. I smell the cinnamon. Okay. I, I just put it on my arm. Smell it. I love it. it. It smells good on me. It smells like that cinnamon gum. That's what I get. What do you think of it? I like it. I like it. It smells good on me. I'm surprised she likes it. She's usually yeah. I usually like she's not a spicy fan. I I I I I like. This like is one of my cinnamon. newest sweethearts. This is a patchouli based amber fragrance with lots of spice and resins. It is Judith Lieber Night, and I just got it. Okay, I just pat it again. Why are you keep patting your fingers? You're supposed to spray both sides, not pass it together. Well, I'm not... I'm not getting the... That's you. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like it. But it's very strong. Very ambery. It isn't that I don't like it. It just doesn't smell good on me. Oh, yeah. All right. This is Dua Suede. This smells like a warm hug. This is a clone mm -hmm. version of the beautiful Cure Beluga. Now, I say it smells like a warm hug because it was described like that by Aaron from Aaron Sullivan Beauty. But it also, it smells like whipped cream, like whipping cream. On top of a Birkin bag. Mm, we'll put some right there. It's, it smells like whipped cream. Yeah, it does. That's nice. I like that. What is it again? Do I sway. Do I sway. Next, we have a bargain fragrance that will make you feel like you're by the fireplace. That is Reserve 1956. It is a clone from Marshalls. And it is Rum Oud. Sandalwood and Oris. To me, it's rum and oud. Like, you're getting a woody rum. Yeah. A woody rum flavor. Or a yeah. scent. Scent, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, of course, this would be my Christmas Day fragrance. Amelage Crimson Rocks, the most beautiful, strong, realistic cinnamon with woody background to it oh and honey lots of beautiful raw rich honey i wouldn't spray it unless you want to actually smell it for days it's a little too strong for me yeah it's really strong cinnamon but it's perfect christmas cinnamon christmas so perfect and i have two little boys that are gonna get to have christmas presents from santa so excited yes because they didn't know a lot about Santa last year, but this year, they're it's old enough to understand, fun. so it'll be yes. super fun. Oh yeah, that's Amelage Crimson Rocks, by the way. Next, we have a newbie from TJ Maxx, Ampre Atole Ade Parfum. Just a basic, rich, amber, vanilla fragrance. It kind of reminds Ooh. me of Ambre Vanille from... Laura Mercier. In fact, it kind of smells almost identical. Oh, I like that. Very nice, fluffy, and great for the winter. Mm -hmm. Now we have Woody Tobacco. This is 
a clone of Replica Jazz Club. To me, this is perfect for when you're wanting to feel super masculine and you're wanting to maybe cut firewood and start your fire and maybe decorate your Christmas tree or I don't know, something that you're going to have to be outside shoveling snow, perhaps. Woody tobacco is perfect for that. Yes. I think I like, this is one I like. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong, <laughs> but it dries down. Very you know, it's masculine. Strong from the, yeah. Oh, Miss Taboo. We can never do without you. Taboo from Dana. Perfect for the holiday season. Spicy clove. Clove is perfect for Christmas. This gives you that, like, perfect, warm Christmas family smell. Like, it. well, I wouldn't say family. It just reminds me of my grandma because she had this. But it smells sexy. Like, this fragrance itself is a very provocative Ooh. scent. I, it's, it's sexy. I don't... Ooh. Yeah. Taboo is a very nice fragrance. Taboo. Definitely recommend for the holiday season. Next, we have a Walmart special anecdote Havana Lounge. It's like $20 at Walmart. But it smells like... Um, Pure Havane, a Pure Havan from Mugler, and tobacco, spiced rum, pink pepper, vanilla. It's kind of with the winter Christmassy theme. I like it. It's beautiful. It is sweet, delicious. I, my son and I use yeah, it. I, I spray like it that. on my kids before school too because they're both boys, and this is what I like to smell on them because it smells so good. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a unisex. Yeah, super unisex. Yeah. And it yeah. smells super good. Yeah, I like that. Now this one. Oh, no! It has not been reviewed. No. Okay. You just threw the... Okay, so Cure from John Reparfums is a clone of Roja Dove's Amber Aoud. Shout out to Jennifer who just bought a full bottle of that, like, Expensive thousand dollar fragrance. Ooh. I don't know how much her bottle was, but it's expensive. It's very um thick. That I can't only okay, I see it. Yeah, that's a little too strong for me. It's very strong. It leans masculine, but I love yeah. it. It's so good. Perfect for like cozy, warm by the fireplace. Speaking of by the fireplace, one fragrance that I sold because I was disappointed that it was a little too sweet for me. By the fireplace from Replica would be perfect for the holiday season. Um, you could also get the dossier version, which would be a lot cheaper. I don't have that version, but it's like $29, so I would totally go there. Alright, so we have the elephant. Kenzo Jungle La Elephant. This is one of my favorite fragrances. This is every single spice that starts with C. Curry, cumin, clove, coriander. So many different spices. Not even just ones that start with C. But beautiful top. Perfect for the holidays. Mm -hmm. I like that. I wore this on Thanksgiving for the last two years in a row. This is like perfect holiday season type of fragrance. Super yeah. spicy, but sweet with the mango and the vanilla in the background. It's like walking through a spice market. It's just, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Red Tobacco from Mancera. And... Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf. This is the cheaper version, which was about $14 at Ross. This is Blaze Polo Club of Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. Basically, super spicy cinnamon, clove, bunch of spices with vanilla and tobacco. But in a beautiful way. Marketed towards men, but definitely unisex. Here. Yeah. That reminds me of a man. It smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. Love it. It reminds me of a man. Of a man. 
All right, so this one is a super affordable goodie. This is Saffron Oris from Corez. I got this at Ross for like $6.99. Super spicy, um, saffron gives it a cinnamon type vibe, like a... Yeah, that's really spicy. Cinnamon, it's just really strong spice, and then it, it hits you, and then the orris is sweet, like powdery and vanilla. I like it. I enjoy it, so this one, definitely great for the holidays. All right, so I have Crater. This is a clone of Dua, or this is Dua's clone of Mason Francis Curtijon. What is it a clone of? I'll put it up there. I can't even remember right now. I can't remember, but I'll put it up there. I won't even include this one. I just won't include you. Because I can't remember what you clone yeah. Oh. Fancy still in the bo box. Well, yeah, that's how I travel with it. Okay, the last but definitely not least, House of Oud Dates Delight. The most precious, beautiful Christmas scent of all time. If you oh, yeah, it. that is very it's Christmassy. It's super jammy dates. I don't know if you want, do you want to wear it? Uh, yeah, I've got so much on me. Oh, I don't okay. have a space. <laughs> it's super jammy sweet dates with like beautiful cinnamon. It's super Christmassy. Big red gum vibe in the beginning. Oh, and it's super long lasting. Absolutely love it. Definitely recommend spicy for the holidays. That reminds me of, uh, when I smelled that, it kind of reminded me of sitting next to the, to the Christmas tree. I mean, a real, real Christmas tree, not one of the fake ones. Oh. Yeah, it just kind of. Gives you that vibe. It gave me that vibe. All right. Yeah. Well, that is a holiday jingle all the way. Yes. Holiday video. Um... I'm trying to think of what the fragrance is. I can't think of it. Grand Soir. Okay, this is Duas Grand Soir. Uh, this is Duas Crater, a clone of Grand Soir from Mason Bridge Scrujon. And it's a very masculine, thick amber fragrance. It kind of gives you a fluffy vanilla in the dry down, but in the way, way, way dry down, it's super long lasting, but great for the holidays, super warm. It'll keep you warm in the winter, I for sure. I like that. Did you, I don't think it's masculine. It's definitely masculine. Is it? Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe to join in on our... Perfume addiction. addiction. And by the way, it was a pair of pants all along. <laughs> all right, bye. Bye, guys. So they they won't know. It doesn't it look like a scarf? I just press record, just in case it unravels and they find out it's not a scarf. Yeah, oh. this video footage of us. Oh, okay. Here we are. This is a pair of pants. Whoa, it was a secret this whole time. No one <laughs> knew. <laughs>